Hi, I'm Addy, and I'm the cool big sister. And this is my dad. Hey, I'm Anthony, and I take all the photos. Hi, I'm Alexander, and I'm the one with the cool hair. Hey, I'm Vanessa, and I'm the digital artist. Hi, I'm Lily, and I'm the cute one, and this is my family. We are Life of AVAX, the Photoshop family. We create digital art from around the world, and this is our story. So our story begins in Vienna. Wait, 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 what? Rewind. When we first got to Vienna, two things happened. Number one, it was raining like crazy. It was raining like this. Number two, we got locked out of our Airbnb house at midnight. That was a disaster. The gas station where our keys had been left by the Airbnb host closed around nine. So there we were stuck in the rain with six suitcases, three kids jet lagged in the rain late at night. So we had to call the Airbnb host who was not happy about being woken up that late at night. But the problem was he didn't have the key either. The one who had the key was his housekeeper who lived across town. So he had to get out of bed, drive across town, and then drive all the way back to the Airbnb house and open it up for us. He was not happy. And that's how we started our first day in Vienna. One of our goals for this trip was to create art around the world. And we realized that Vienna was going to be a perfect starting point for this. The city itself is this perfect balance between greenery and classical architecture. You have this city that is built around these endless gardens and forests palaces and there's just so much beauty around the city. When you think of a city, you just think of fast paced, busy life, but Vienna didn't feel that way. Vienna, you got the best of both worlds. And so right away, we just felt extremely happy having those things that we so much craved.
Then one day, Mama got a special email. Good morning. Good morning. About a week into our stay in Vienna, we got an email from Adobe. And Adobe is literally our dream brand to work with. They had asked us to create an image to celebrate the launch of Photoshop on the iPad. The story we wanted to tell with this photo was to capture the essence of Vienna and mix that with our style and with our unique storytelling. We began to quickly think about all the places that we had seen within the week and all the places that we had been inspired by. I immediately thought about the St. Stephen's Cathedral floor. They had the black and white checkered floor. We went to the Belvedere. I was inspired by the Belvedere's windows. And so we immediately decided we wanted this piece to fill classical. We wanted it to show the city of Vienna, but also in a way where it felt intimate. And so we decided to do a window view. Next, we had to think about the subject and I immediately said, let's do a mermaid piece. Vienna has this rich history of classical music. And so we decided why not try to incorporate that into the image. And that's when we came up with the story of Addie as a mermaid playing the violin. We quickly ran into the problem of, well, we don't have a violin. So we had Addie Post in her mermaid bin. I think she was holding like two spatulas and I had her just pretend like she was playing the violin. And although we tried, we threw it into Photoshop and we tried to make it work, it just, it did not work out at all. And we ended up just trashing that. When I realized that that image wasn't going to work, I think that was the moment when our Vienna trip started to <laughs> go a little bit downhill. We were going out every single day. We were two weeks in of doing this. We would leave early in the morning, travel to these places around the city. We would spend hours trying to not only enjoy the place as a family, but also capture content there. Remember looking at other travel vloggers and looking at how easy they made it look. And given the fact that we're also a part of the social media industry, we should have known better. But I think even we were a bit catfished. We had no idea how much work it was going to be until we actually began to do it. We went through this immense period of frustration. We came here to not have that problem. And here we were across the world in this beautiful place. And we're still having the same problem. So we're having to battle a million different things. Crowds of people getting in your shots and natural lighting. You can't control if the sun is gonna, you know, hit the wrong spot or a cloud is gonna cover the sun and you're dealing with on top of that kit. So even when you do get that small window, now you have to hope that, you know, the kids are willing to pose or to do whatever it is that they that you're trying to capture then we would go home late at night and have to sort through all the images and then get to work on this project and i felt very tired because i knew that i was staying up till three four in the morning editing and that i would have to wake up at eight in the morning to get ready to do it all over again and i felt like i had this this timer on me and I was racing against time. And it's when you have that pressure, you're gonna explode. Then a few days later, we were trying to come up with a different pose for Addie, a different story. And I was trying to make her do all kinds of things, read a book, look out. Everything just felt very disconnected and it just felt very forced and it just didn't feel like a story that I wanted to tell. I remember it was in the middle of one of these photo shoots. Addie was sitting there and she was just looking out the window and she had Barry and she was just holding Barry. I was immediately just like, I got it. Do that again. 
the fact that she was just hugging him felt so innocent and it almost reminded me of this princess in this tower and she's looking out into this city. It felt so fairy tale like it was just I think the perfect story to tell for this image. When we finally finished that project, we realized that we had already been in Vienna for a month, but we didn't get to cross everything off on our list. So we had to pack up and move to our next house. We look like the circus. waddled our way across town with our six luggages, three kids, and our toppling gear and backpacks on us. We moved across town to the other side of Vienna. And then we get another email for another big project. And this time it's for Clinique. <laughs> wow. Clinique is gonna say, what? Get Steven on the phone. She's in a potato sack. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you don't like it? I like it. I think it's cute. Papa said that it looks like I'm wearing a potato sack. I don't think it looks like it. It doesn't look like it. One of my personal goals for this trip was to improve my self-esteem and my self-love. It's been something that I've struggled with for years, and I think it's gotten progressively worse as I get older. The story I wanted to tell with this photo was this woman feeling confident and feeling happy to be in her own skin and being this role model for her daughter. We spent an entire week, and every day I got up and we had to reshoot. And I remember breaking down and crying multiple times because I couldn't help but to pick myself apart in these photos. And I was being a horrible role model for Addie. And it was all because I just couldn't practice self-love. Towards the end of the week, we ended up trying something different. We put some music on, and I decided to just have fun. I'm just gonna have fun, and I'm just gonna do it. Sure enough, we got the shot.
I think the last week of Vienna was probably one of my favorites. We got to go out and just enjoy ourselves. We went to the butterfly house. I saw the butterfly. I went me that one. Like that. We went to the palm house, which is this tiny little garden in the middle of this city and it is just extremely beautiful. Mm. <laughs> I love the Venus schnitzels. The Venus schnitzels were delicious. I loved putting lots of lemon on them because it tasted so good. My favorite part was the hot dogs. Mm -mm -mm. We did tons of zip lining there. That's the end of our Vienna trail. And then we got on a train. Choo choo, bye Vienna. Let's say at the same time, Vienna. Alright, one, two, three. Vienna. Vienna. That's cheesy. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> okay. Vienna! Uh-oh. <laughs> okay. I haven't done this in a while, so I'm kind of nervous. $2,000 for everyone? But also... What? I forgot what I was saying. You're distracting me. Say, and that, folks? That, folks? It's the what? This is the end of our Vienna tale. Right, folks? This is the end of our... <laughs> we were like super... I don't know. I thought you were going to record my feet and no, I didn't like it. Oh, okay. Is it because my socks are ugly? Yeah. Oh, okay. The last week of Vienna had that. It died. <laughs>